everyone, Bob the Vaping Computer Guy. Just wanted to do a short video on uh, a few different topics, a little uh, vape talk, just to answer some uh, questions from some other videos. Um, first off was the uh, Evic VT review that I did. Got a lot of a lot of comments on there um, when I mentioned that the temp control seemed to be a little off. Um, of course, it doesn't happen for everybody, so uh, everybody just jumping in there saying, you didn't lock the thing, you didn't lock the damn thing. Um, you know, they didn't, which is common, people didn't bother to read further down that we had discussed it to death already, that no, in the video I did not mention about locking uh, the, the resistance in. Um, I didn't mention it, and I didn't do it in the video. I should have, but I missed that step there. But yes, I did do that when testing it, um, and I still found the problem, and a lot of other people uh, commented on the problem. And the problem, just to, to go over again, was that you can uh, pop a cold uh, nickel build on there and uh, whatever resistance it is, I'll say it's one ohm, you can lock it in, start vaping on it at 400 degrees and it's great, put it down, and this happens three or four out of ten times, um, maybe 50% of the time. Come back to it ten minutes later, pick it up, go to vape on it, and you get nothing out of it. You're not getting any vapor. You got to bump that 400 degrees up to 470, 480 degrees in order to get the same vape. Uh, the resistance may be the same. It may have changed slightly. Maybe 1.1. You're just not getting the same vape. Um, now, if you're locking the resistance, you think it would stay locked. Um, and even if it didn't, or uh, whether you locked it or not, you would think if the resistance changed, which the Evic VT is constantly pinging for the resistance of the coils, it's actively monitoring that. Um, 400 degrees should be 400 degrees. It should adjust properly to give you the proper vape, to give you the same quality of vape, same amount of vapor. Um, and it doesn't, um, at least not with me. A lot of people say they're not having that problem at all. I'm having it. A lot of other people commented they did. Um, I did try and record it a bunch of times. I tried three times. One time it, I was able to reproduce it exactly. The other two times it didn't. And it's happened to me a lot more, but I haven't bothered to be sit in front of the computer to record it at the time. So I'm going to insert a little video here. Uh, showing you exactly what was happening to me, just so you see and see if other people are having that problem, and insert here. Okay, so here we go. You can see I have this here. That's my EVIC, and currently there's nothing on it, and we're in nickel mode. I've been trying a bunch of different atomizers, all with nickel builds. All right, let's take this. This is a full size Kanger. Let's screw that in there. So, I have this on here. I picked it up at 0.11. This is cold. It's been sitting here. Let's go one, two, three. Let's lock it. 0.11. Okay. Lock. Now let's go back up and vape on this. So let's take a vape on this at 330 degrees. It's vaping nice, it's nice and warm, even at 330 degrees, which is a little surprising, but it is 0.11 ohms. Very nice. Let's leave this sit, and I'm going to time this. Let's, uh, 18 minutes, got it sidetracked on a phone call. Uh, let's try vaping on it without even looking at it and see what we get. Still vaping good. So and it says 0.11 oh so this time I didn't have the problem. I'm gonna leave it a while longer let's see what happens next time. So it's been five more minutes let's take a vape without doing anything else to it. I can tell right away I'm not getting heat out of it. I'm not going to draw really hard to get anything. It's extremely light. Same. Nothing's changed on it except now it's 0 0.09 ohms while it's locked. Take a look up close. So as you can see now, I got 330 degrees. 0.09 ohms, it's locked. I would think that wouldn't change, but 
maybe it does, maybe it's reading the actual that it's getting off the coil, um, even though it's locked and locking is supposed to uh, somehow, you know, have it adjust. But the vape is terrible right now. I'm not getting the right vape. Now let's go back up and try. 30 degrees, 0.09 now. Now I'm not even looking, I just hit it three times. Increasing the temperature to 30 degrees. <coughs> I had to take a long hit on that one to, just to get it to match. <clears throat> so it's not equal to what it was in the beginning. I'll go up another 20 degrees. I'm at 390. Let's just go 400 degrees now. Now it's close to the way it was when I first put the tank on. Still not as good. Let's go up another 20. And that's about what it was when I started it. Uh, when I first put the tank on. So it's still locked. It's 0.09 ohms. It's 420 degrees um, in order to get the same vape. So the locking isn't doing anything. I had to increase the temperature. Uh, what was that? I think it was at 350 before, 340. So I had to increase the temperature 70, 80 degrees uh, in order to get the same vape out of it. Now, now with my experience with this is now this will be consistent. It'll stay like this. I can put it down, come back 10 minutes later, an hour later, tomorrow morning, and the vape will be fine. But it is different than it was initially. Should I have had to pump up the temperature 70 degrees to get the same vape? No. Um, I don't know if the locking is supposed to make it stay at 0.11. That, that's an actual reading. Um, but the lock isn't locking it in where it's knowing how to adjust for a change in the uh, resistance and allowing me at the same temperature. If 350 was what I was vaping at before, and 350 was good, no matter what the resistance is, it should adjust and get it to 350 degrees. That's the whole point of temperature. It's, it's a consistent number. So that's the problem I've been having with it. I've tried this on uh, Limo 2, Subtank, Subtank Mini. Uh, I've tried this on, on the Dripper. Uh, it's doing the same. Okay, so you can see that's the problem that I was having with that. A lot of other people do, and it was discussed to death in there. Um, so, um, hopefully other people read the comments instead of just writing, you know, you forgot to lock it. Anyway, uh, some other things today, I'm vaping on my Evic, and this is some of this, um, probably saying it wrong, um, Expodius Underground Juice. Uh, I had done a review of this a couple of weeks ago, just ordered a nice another large bottle here of their, um, Heaven's Cream Strawberry, not too good on that camera, sorry. Really, really nice juice. Um, their price is unbelievable. 30 milliliter bottle, I think it was 20 bucks. Um, so, uh, I'm sorry, 50 milliliter bottle, it was $20. Um, so, great juice there. Um, I ordered a couple more of their flavors. I got their, um, what did I get? Uh, I got their blueberry and I got their grape. Grape was pretty good. Uh, quick review on that. The grape is more of a candy grape, not a fruity grape. Um, so it's, you know, not, not the best grape, but it's okay. I'll certainly finish up that bottle. I probably might not order more of that flavor, but not bad. Um, the blueberry, I'm not getting very good blueberry flavor at all. It's very weak. Um, it's more of just, uh, uh the cream itself. Um, so I'm going to let that steep for a week or two and, uh, see how that is. And if it's not good after that, uh, I do have some blueberry flavoring somewhere. Uh, you know, actual flavoring for making your own juice. So I'll put a few drops of that and increase the blueberry flavor in that and see how that's going. Um, but that Heaven's Cream Strawberry is, is great. Uh, other thing I want to address, I said I was going to do a review on them, but I figured I'd just mention it here, is uh, coffee vapes. Um, I never thought I would like coffee vapes. just didn't appeal to me, although I'm a coffee drinker. Um, but I ended up getting one, and I probably won't be able to find it at the moment, if I even still have it. Um, but I ended up getting a coffee vape, and it was kind of high in nicotine, and it really wasn't coming out too good. Oh, there it is. Um, this is Salon Select Villain Vapes Red Eye. Uh, and I think this was 
this is so that was this coffee bag. But I ended up getting this in three milligrams, and it was too too hard for me to drip, to bother my throat. Um, but it got me stop thinking. You know, it seemed like it would be good. Let's try and find a coffee bag. Um, so ended up getting in a sample box. I ended up getting this atom bomb sanctuary. All right, and this stuff was great. The bottle of it was wonderful. Still smells good. This one. This is another bottle. Um, vaped that bottle as fast as I could. Ordered another bottle online, and when I got it, it was terrible. And this is the problem I'm having with coffee vapes. That is why I bring it up. It just wasn't good at all. This has been steeping now about three weeks, and I'm going to try this again soon and see how this is. But you know, one bottle of coffee vape was great. Next bottle wasn't. So I figured, all right, maybe something was inconsistent. So then I went and I got uh, picked up a bottle of the local brick and mortar of this Cyber E Liquids. Uh, Cafe Royale. Loved it. Great coffee vape. And I'm not going to get into the details of the, the types of coffee, cream, not cream, hazelnut, so forth. But this was a great coffee vape. Went through that bottle really quick. Went back to that brick and mortar. Of course, paying more, you know, at brick and mortar. Picked up two more bottles. They only had, uh, they didn't have any larger bottles than this. Um, the first bottle, terrible. I, I kept trying it. I let it steep for a week. Kept trying it. Um, dripped it. Put it in tanks, uh, just horrible. Didn't like it at all. Uh, finally, wasted that whole bottle, you know, trying it in different ways, didn't work. I let this bottle sit for, um, she's got to be about six weeks now. Went back to it, and it's much, much better. It's not as good as that first bottle was, but it's much better. I only got about a third of the bottle left because I was trying this one too throughout the last six weeks. Couldn't get it any better, but it's getting there. Picked up this one after trying a sample in a store of Halo Purity. Uh, Cafe Mocha. All right, tried it from there, from their uh, you know mob they had there in their you know old style tanks, um, and it was great. I shouldn't say great, but it was pretty good. Cafe Mocha, the chocolate came through a lot, uh, so it was a different vape. I got it. It smells great. It vapes horrible. Can't stand it. I'm letting this sit for a long time. Um, another one I had tried. I think um, I had reviewed one. I forgot what it was called, but it was by this Expodius made me sick. Absolutely horrible. I threw it right in the garbage. This is caf uh, coffee ice cream. It's not terrible, but it's got to steep for a while. Uh, I, so I think I can figure. Coffee vapes seem to need a long steep. I mean, literally, this is six weeks, and now it's starting to taste good. So I don't know what's going on with that. If anybody else is having that, uh, um, I haven't bothered to get, um, um, I wanted to get uh, Sonic Cleaner. Uh, and try that after uh, Vape Miser uh, did his uh, review there showing you know how he vaped the juice and, and it seemed to work well and speaking to him uh, through email uh, you know it seems to be a good idea so I'm going to probably do that next I'd much rather get a coffee vape that I can smoke the next day instead of six weeks um, but if anybody has any experience with any other coffee vapes any, uh, if you've had inconsistencies please let me know below because I'd like to know if it's just me with coffee vapes or uh, if that seems to be common somebody in another, uh, another video that I put up had posted a uh, comment saying, uh, well, it's like real coffee. If it sits out on the table for a day, it's not going to be good anymore. Um, for a second, I thought that made sense, but then I realized, no, it doesn't, because uh, you take blueberries and you put them out on the table for a week, and you're not going to want to eat those things either. They're going to wither up and die and be horrible. Well, you know, blueberry tastes fine in there. I don't see why coffee flavoring um, should have those issues. He was saying that, um, I don't remember his name, I apologize. He was saying that he thought it was only good fresh. Um, I'm, I'm finding the opposite. I'm finding it needs a very long steam. So, um, you know, let me know what you think if you've had that and any other coffee vapes that, you know, you can recommend. And I've tried, you know, self-made ones from little local stores and no luck there either. So, anyway. Um, so, uh, back to Expodius E-Juice. Um, I just wanted to mention one thing I forgot. I love this juice. It's, it's really good. Their prices are great. But they have to do something about these labels. If, they, if by any chance they're listening to, to my pitiful little videos... Um, you cannot read, aside from the, the name, which is pretty big, you cannot read anything on there. Um, it's not going to come out in this camera, but that writing is such, aside from being so small, it's such a bad font, and the printer is just unclear. It's terrible. Um, if law has ever come up, uh, I think they're in Michigan, uh, if law has ever come up in their state about regulations for this, um, they have child safety caps on there, as you can see. Push it down. 
Um, but that writing is unlegible, and that's certainly not going to be allowed if, if any laws come into effect in that state for that. Um, but uh, I think it would just be the proper thing to do when you're selling juice to have people be able to read the writing on there. So please, you know, do something about that. That would be great. Um, I think that was about it. Um, I'm expecting some new tanks in, some that I ordered from China. Um, so, you know, that are just uh, not out of the States yet, uh, that some of the, the other big reviewers have, have already gotten, but hopefully I'll get those soon, put out some reviews on that. And uh, next, uh, today is Monday, next uh, weekend is the Vape Expo in New Jersey at the New Jersey Convention Center. Um, it'll be the first time I've been there in like 20 years, last time I was there was for a computer show. Um, so now they're having a vape show there, and uh, it'd be nice to know who else is going to be there, and it uh, looks like hopefully it'll be a good one. I've been to two other vape conventions. I've been to uh, North Carolina, I was in South Carolina, uh, that they have down there, uh, and that was a great show. I was up in Niagara Falls uh, about six weeks ago, and uh, it wasn't nearly as good as the one down there. I, I was probably there for 40 minutes and you know, did a quick walk around. It wasn't that busy, uh, where the one down in the Carolinas was, was packed. Um, so we'll see how Jersey is and see how that is. It's nice that it's only about an hour and a half away from me, so uh, a lot less driving. And uh, thanks a lot. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my video, please do. Where is it? Down there. Should be a little icon right over there. Uh, you can click on subscribe to my videos. And uh, if you have any comments, please write them below. And thanks again for watching.